Hello to our friends from Harvard School. This is Rick Ridings coming to you from Sukkotalel 24-7 in Jerusalem. And uh, we're so thankful you're praying for Israel this week in a special way. We really need it. Uh, the main things to pray uh, that the Lord would uh, put a, the blood of Yeshua would be upon every border of Israel. We, the last two days, have had a lot of rocket attacks. Uh, the ones from Lebanon in the north are the most since a war started in 2006. So we really need prayer for the blood of Jesus, the blood of Yeshua to be over every border of Israel, but especially our northern border with Lebanon and our southern border with Gaza, and that this will not uh, escalate into a full war, uh, but that it would, would quickly dial down. Uh, second thing to pray, this is Ramadan here, and uh, there's a lot of uh, spiritual activity released over on the Temple Mount as over 100,000, some estimate is at times up to 200,000 Muslims are there on Fridays, which today is, uh, and, and for the, during Ramadan, and it, it releases something into the atmosphere, and that's why it's so important that we're here worshiping and praying, and others in Jerusalem releasing a much more powerful sound into the atmosphere, but join together that Ramadan will not be a time for just survival for people here to kind of make it through the heaviness, but instead that they, it'll be a time of revival, not survival, that it'll be a time of taking territory for the kingdom of God. Pray that, that, that huge numbers of, of both Arab and Jewish people here will have visions and dreams of Jesus, of Yeshua. And then the last thing I'd like to ask you to pray for in Ezekiel 36, it talks about after the Lord has already brought the Jewish people back into the land, uh, which he's already brought a significant number here, obviously, that then he would give them a new heart. He would take away the heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh and sprinkle clean water upon them. And I recently had a, a vision of God bringing Israelis by a cloud of fire by night and, uh, and a cloud by day down to Gilgal, which is by Jericho. It's where Israel first entered the land. And the story there is that when they entered, they were facing Jericho, which is the city of the moon god, it means, and they were facing this huge giant, the same we're facing today. But they, God told them, first of all, circumcise all of the, the men under 40 who have not been circumcised, which was all of them. And so that meant they were in a place of great weakness and utter dependence upon God. If the warriors had come out from Jericho, they could have easily defeated them. But instead, in this place of weakness, they called out to God, they trusted God, he showed them what to do, and, he, and, and then they, they, they took Jericho. God did a great miracle there and brought down the walls of Jericho. So pray today that in the midst of a, a time of weakness and confusion and polarization in the government of Israel, that in this time of weakness, they will cry out to the Lord and that God will come and circumcise their hearts and take away the heart of stone and give a heart of flesh that, that thousands and thousands of Israelis here would come to know that Yeshua is who he says he is. Thanks again for all your prayers. We bless you from Zion in the name of Yeshua.